Hello everyone, welcome to the tea crane. It's Dias Sosen and I have my tea set up ready to make a bowl of tea. And while I'm doing so, I want to talk to you about tea as a medicine. So first I will get into making my uh, bowl of tea. And what I want to talk to you about is tea is a medicine and a lot of people understand that. Um, that is also how it is referred to in many ways um, but it is a medicine although it is not a remedy see tea is not something that you use for uh, to cure something so what I see often is that People, they take to tea, take to matcha especially, because matcha is now very popular in, um, in the West. And people say, well, I'm, I'm taking matcha to lose weight, or I'm taking matcha for this or that. And although I understand the intention, and there might be some sort of benefit tied to consuming matcha, in my perception, it has nothing to do with if you drink matcha, then you will get thinner. If you drink matcha, then you will get stronger. If you, get, if you drink matcha, you will get over this or that or such and such. So matcha or tea is not something that you drink to cure something. It's a healthy habit. That's how I like to see it. Um, Eventually, the health benefits that are spoken about are from continuous consumption of matcha over time. So, you drink tea, you do this every day, and gradually your body will reap the benefits of consuming that tea. You might get thinner, your metabolism will be improved, your immune system will be improved and eventually <clears throat> the benefits that are spoken about they will appear but it's not, I've started drinking matcha now so I'm, I'm going to be healthier or I can expect this to happen or that to happen that is not the way I see it and that's also not how I think we should approach it. Ever since the 12th, well, the 13th century, the 1200s, when Japanese Zen monk Esai published his um, his treatise on the health benefits of consuming tea, people have known that there are benefits tied to consuming tea, and in the past, however. Medicine was seen as a preventing something, not something that cures an ailment. And so by preventing any ailments from happening, that is how real medicine should work, and that is how we should perceive the working of tea. So, which matcha do you prefer to um, to lose weight. Could there be a more ridiculous question? You consume the best matcha, the best tea, you enjoy that tea, and eventually you might lose weight. So let me say this again, matcha is a medicine, or let's take tea in general, tea is a medicine, but it's not a cure. You consume it, 
over and over and you make a habit out of it. Cultivating a healthy habit always leads to a gooder or better outcome. And making habit out of drinking matcha or making matcha on a daily basis, doing a simple ritual, like what I've just done now. It's, this is tea ceremony. I have gone through all the um, preparational steps of what happens in tea ceremony, only I'm doing it on a little tray, on a table, with my kettle, in front of a camera. Um, it doesn't take more than 10 minutes. It's that easy. And it helps you to cleanse yourself spiritually, cleanse the mind, cleanse the body, cleanse everything. And then having the tea helps further cleanse the body. You drink tea for the purpose of drinking tea and the benefits will follow. You don't drink tea to obtain some outcome or result. That is not how we should look at medicine. Medicine should not be something that is a band-aid to a problem. Band-aids, you see, they usually don't uh, work. So it shouldn't be a simple band-aid solution to a problem, but it should be a habit that prevents problems from happening. That is how I like to see matcha. That is also how I like to live my life. And having practiced the tea ceremony for a long time, I've opened up to a wide variety of other alternative medicine and ways of treating the body and working with the body so that you can be healthier overall. And 2021 just being in course at the moment, looking back at 2020, I was looking at my budget and I discovered that I had spent zero on doctor's costs or medication. And usually I have inhalers, I have, because I've, I've got asthma, I have um, medicine pills to uh, help with sinusitis, uh, I might catch a cold from time to time, but last year I had none of that and I also quit all the other medicine I had just because I finally understood that there are other ways of living your life and that this body is mine. It's mine to take care of. So relying on other people or other sources or other instances for my body to be healthy is ludicrous. This is my body, this is my responsibility. Relying on another source, on someone else to tell me what to do so that I can be healthier is crazy. So, matcha as a habit, discovering more habits, becoming healthier and preventing what could happen. That is real medicine, that is what I see matcha as, and that is also how I want to introduce it to you. So I raise this bowl to everyone's health and to, with the wish that everyone may take care of themselves just as much as I do. And I'm going to enjoy this bowl. Now closing up, I would just like to tell you about how easy it is to embed a practice like this. This doesn't take up much place. You have a tray, you have a tea caddy, you have a tea whisk, you have all the implements that you need to make a bowl of matcha. You have the bowl, you have the whisk, you have the tea scoop, the tea caddy and a tray. 
And having all that is all that you need. Maybe the most expensive thing to obtain in order to begin your practice is this silk cloth, the fuxa. But if you have this set, then it's very easy for you to practice and enjoy tea anywhere. And this being said, I would like to extend the invitation to any one of you who is watching, because I can teach you how to do this. This is a perfect way to learn the first steps in tea ceremony. And I can teach you these steps and you can get an introduction to what tea ceremony is and begin your own tea ceremony practice. With this I have concluded a whole service of tea. I have talked a bit in between. This is how easy it can be for you to embed this mindful practice in your daily lives and to begin with not only just drinking the matcha but also reaping the benefits of mindfully preparing a bowl of tea as it is common in the tea ceremony. And so this being said, if you are interested feel free to contact me. I will happily um, discuss how we can start learning the tea ceremony and otherwise I would be very happy to see you in any of my uh, following videos and for that be sure to subscribe and tick the bell so that you get notified of new releases and see you in the next video. Love you all.